have a lot of fun this week learning about how we can teach our kids to pray. I know for a lot of us, we like to pray in secret. The Bible even says to pray in secret. Uh, but for our kids, they need a real example of how to pray. Otherwise, in a sense, they're starting from scratch. And, and that's not how the body of Christ is supposed to be. We're supposed to be uh, handing things down, pouring out what we've learned into those around us, especially our kids, so that if we've gone from here up to, let's say we've gone from here to this prayer level, well, at least we can give our kids that head start to jump, even if it wasn't that much. That is where they start at, and now they're going up even higher in their ability to pray and connect with God. So I can really say there's never a time when you are too horrible of a prayer to be able to teach someone how to pray. If you've done it a little bit, guess what? You've started to learn some things. You've started to recognize how to connect with God. And so I'm telling you, especially for those of you that are parents, you are equipped by God with the Spirit within you to pour this out into your kids. No matter if you feel uncomfortable with this, if you feel unsure, or maybe you're excited about this. And that is awesome because this week, every day, we're going to dive into how we can teach our kids to be excellent prayers. And you can do this. We're going to do a few simple steps every single day that are going to make this real for you and for them. Make it easy for you to spiritually lead your home. So ready? Here we go. I'm going to start from super basic. First thing of prayer. Prayer is simply talking to God. That's it. That's what prayer is. On the simplest version, prayer is talking to God. Now when we talk to God, it doesn't have to be a big uh, manufactured prayer or, you know, a lot of people have prayer books that they, they've used in the past. But I, I honestly want to say when you start to teach your kids how to pray, uh, not to go to those right away because it gives off the impression to your kids or maybe you even had this impression that a real prayer has to be thoroughly studied out and thought out and worked and rewritten and all this until they can until you can craft the perfect prayer. And there's a lot of pressure to to the, we put on ourselves that when we pray it has to we have to have the perfect prayer. We need to say everything perfect. We need to do all the right things at the right time and we're unsure if we can do all those, so we just let's not teach. Let's not do it. You can do it. I'm telling you, you can do this. So prayer is simply talking to God. So teach your kids just how the way they talk with you is how we're supposed to approach our Heavenly Father, how they talk with their parent. So it doesn't mean that just like your kids don't walk in and demand stuff uh, to you, hopefully, uh, we don't do that with God either. We don't just walk in in prayer and say, hey, this is what I need. Duh, 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 duh. When are you going to come through? That, that's just not not how we do it, right? It's how we would talk to someone else. How we would talk to a parent is how we want to teach our kids to talk to God. It's also not a bunch of, of whining and, and complaining. is isn't the way that we would receive anything from God. Uh, just as same as you know, if, if your kids come to you and they're whining and complaining and just uh, pouting about all the things that are going wrong, uh, doesn't elicit great reactions as a parent maybe you uh maybe that just stirs you up I, I don't know too many parents that that is true about no instead it really grinds on you a little bit right and so same way we need to teach our kids when we go to talk to god yes you can share about your day you can share about what was tough or, or what's things you don't understand but make sure when you're sharing it you're moving towards going to him for answers and just being open and honest and not just stuck in whining and complaining the whole time. It's like talking with a friend. And so today's challenge is to gather together. It could be in the car, could be at dinner time, could be at bedtime or, or whatever. It could be around the breakfast table. Sit down and chat with God. Talk about the day. Ask him if he has anything to speak to you about the day, how it's going to go, anything he wants to say special, and then take a little bit of time to listen. In Root Bible Academy, we call that chat and check. 
because any conversation that's all one-sided is not a conversation. It's a monologue. And so you're going to chat with Gunn, say some things that are on your heart, ask him some questions, and then you've got to also make sure that you're taking a time to sit and listen and receive his ideas. A lot of times it'll be just an idea that pops in your head of something you should do or say or something that would be helpful uh, or sometimes it's a question. A lot of times it's how God answers me. He answers my question with a question that helps me understand really what my question should have been in the first place. And, uh, and then just talk about it. If anybody feels like they have any thoughts popping in their head, make sure you're open with them first. Hey, well, I was praying, then we sat and listened, and I had this thought pop in my head. I'm not sure that this is God or not, so do you think this is something that God could be saying? Open it up to them. Be real with them. They're not expecting you to be the, uh, the Pope. They're not expecting you to be Jesus. They're expecting you to be a parent. And it, they love learning and growing right along with you. And so just be open. And when you're open like that, guess what? They're going to start to open up as well. Maybe not the first day, but they will. As you continue to focus on prayer, uh, what, from what I can tell, prayer is something that we will always grow in. I've been in some prayer conferences before with some mighty men and women of God that were amazing and they were talking about this is what God showed me about prayer this week in these prayer conferences and they've been Christians for longer than probably twice as long as I've been alive that's some of them and so it was it's something we can always grow in so you're never probably going to get to the super high whatever you can be connected to God like Jesus was but that should be our goal and we can always grow towards it. So today, pray with your kids and just talk to them. Don't read it out of a book. Just talk. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I want to dive into one of the things that a lot of Christians actually understand but don't do in prayer, which makes their prayers kind of pointless. Even Jesus said, if you go to pray and you have this, just walk away. Go deal with this first and then come and pray. Curious what that is? We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, for me, Josh Richter, Root Bible Academy, I will see you all later. If you're interested in signing up your kids on classes like this, sign them up. Root Bible Academy, right now, we're diving into prayer and how to hear God's voice. It is an amazing course and it's just $12 for the whole family. And if you want to partner with all the tools and trainings and things that Root Bible is releasing and be a part of that in the kingdom of God and spur on all the things that he's doing, then check out partner or give.rootbible.com. I would love for you to be a part of it. And guess what? I think God would as well. So that's it for me. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.